Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm not really feeling that great. I'm trying to get over a migraine. I had a migraine since, well, pretty much all weekend. It started, I kind of started feeling it coming in Friday night. So then all day Saturday, all day Saturday, this side of my head was hurting. And then it kind of finally started going away by Friday night. I mean, or Saturday night, late Saturday night. But then it was moving over to this side a little bit. So then like all day Sunday, I felt better, but I could feel it a little bit on this side. And now today's Monday and I still feel it on this side. Like it's still, you know, kind of feels like it's getting worse at times. It's just so annoying. Like that's like the worst thing for me is headaches. I hate headaches, migraines, like it's the worst thing. Like I rather, I don't know. I just don't do headaches. I can't. Like whenever I have a headache, even if it's just a mild headache, like, it just kind of F's up my whole day. Like, especially if I had, like, stuff to do that day, then if I have a headache, then that just brings my mood down and I feel like I can't do nothing until my headache is gone. Like, I don't want to do nothing. I can't enjoy doing anything when I have a headache. I just can't. Even if it's just, it can be, like, a mild headache. I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't. And the thing is, um, like as far as painkillers, usually that's what I would take to help me. Like I used to take Aleve and Ibuprofen that used to work at one point and then it just stopped working. So it's like I could take it, it'd be taking it all day and nothing. So then one day I decided to try Excedrin and boom, it worked. I was like, that was saving my life. And I was using that for like the past year and like I could just take one and my headache would be gone. And so I just was I didn't have to suffer from headaches, migraines at all for a long time. Every time if I felt something coming in, I'll just take the Excedrin. Now all of a sudden that stops working. So I don't know if like when you're when you you're taking a certain painkiller, like after a while you just become like immune to it or something that it just has no effect on you anymore because I don't know because I don't know what else to try then if there because I feel like we tried everything the ibuprofen, Aleve, Tylenol. Is, Tylenol is basically the same thing it has the same ingredients as Excedrin and then aspirin it's like this is Excedrin but this is the Walgreens brand I just went and bought some more of it I don't know what else to buy I was trying to see if there was something else but like I don't know now I just went and got this iced coffee from McDonald's it's a large caramel iced coffee because I thought I ran out of coffee at home and don't really feel like going to the store to actually like shop and buy stuff so I just ran to McDonald's and I have a coupon on the app to just get a coffee a, a coffee of any size for one dollar so I just thought I'd use that and um because they say that caffeine is what, like caffeine can help your headaches go away. But if you, you have to take it in small amounts. Um, caffeine can also cause headaches. And yeah, I do drink um, iced coffee, usually one cup almost every day. But um, I don't know. But then like sometimes if I do have a headache, like it has worked before though where I'll just go make some coffee and sip on it. And then, you know, especially if I don't have any um, painkillers, then I would just sip on coffee and it will kind of slowly go away. But you kind of have to like, I guess like if you have small amounts of caffeine at a time, it can... Because that's basically what's in painkillers too, like aspirin and Excedrin. A Tylenol, that's one of the ingredients, is caffeine too. So they say if you take, you know, drinking a little bit of coffee, you could help. Like a little bit, not like if you're like, because it can cause headaches too, but I think if you're drinking like a lot, if, if you take too much caffeine, if you're taking too much caffeine at once, like on a regular, then that could probably cause headaches. But if you take it like in small amounts and you're getting a headache, you can 
it can help it go away. And it has helped go away before when I didn't have any thing. Or you can take some of this along with that. So that's why what I'm trying to do, because this alone just don't be working, especially when I have a mic. Sometimes it works once in a while if I take two at once and I feel the headache starting, it might go away. But then there's times it just doesn't. And it just gets worse. And then nothing. Nope, I could take this all day long <laughs> and it does nothing. It's like I'm just wasting it all. But right now, <laughs> so I'm gonna take, so I just took two of these and I'm gonna sip on the coffee, like slowly sip on it. I'm probably not gonna drink that whole thing, but I just got a large only because I had the coupon for, you can get any size for one dollar. So I thought, why not get a large then? Just take advantage of. And I figured I could just, I'll probably just save it for tomorrow. I'll probably go to the store tomorrow though to buy more stuff. Because like, I don't have any coffee to make when I get up tomorrow. So if I want coffee, I can just have the rest of that. I'll probably put it in the freezer or something. Just because it has ice in it. And I don't want all the ice to melt and water it down. <laughs> I don't know. Or put it in the freezer for a little while. And then like maybe before before I go to bed, put it in the fridge so it kind of starts slowly melting so it's not completely solid frozen when I get up tomorrow. Anyway, it's just waiting for food to be done. Um, food is being cooked on the grill. We're having some barbecue ribs and corn and a cob. So yeah, so I'm hungry. It's a rainy day. You can see it. My mom's getting food off the grill. I think the food's almost done. Or maybe it is done. <laughs> but it is pouring out. That's why we gotta be inside. Yo. <laughs> My forehead is huge. That's why I gotta have these babies. My face is breaking out a little bit. Small bumps. My chin has been doing pretty good, but now it's like these smaller bumps. Small, small bumps. Alright, so I think it's working because my head is already starting to feel a little bit better. So I don't know if it's just the, the, um, I don't know if it's just the Excedrin or a combination of the Excedrin with the coffee but I've been sipping on it a little bit and I can feel it. It, it it feels better it's not completely gone but it already like I feel a difference it feels better but anyway if you're somebody who suffers from getting headaches from time to time or migraines let me know what do you do to get rid of it like what is do you use a certain medication like Excedrin, Aspirin, or whatever, like, let me know what works for you, because I need something, like, I need something that's 100% guaranteed that every time I feel a headache coming on, I can just take that and boom, it's gone, and I don't have to spend a day suffering. Like, I mean, if you get migraines, you know what I'm talking about, though. It's not like a migraine is worse than a, just a regular headache. A headache is like, I don't know, a headache is annoying, but migraines, that's like when your whole head, you might feel it like in your eyes too, like in this area and all, and it like, it's, it's like severe pain, and it hurts so bad that it can make you feel nauseous, so like that's what happens to me if I have a migraine for a whole day, like my head hurting for a whole day, I will, like I feel nauseous, like I just don't feel good. So it's, it's worse than just a regular headache. Like, I just don't feel good. Like, I will be laying down all day. I'll feel nauseous. I probably won't even be able to eat anything either because I feel nauseous. So I'll probably even be throwing up throughout the day here and there. And it sucks. Okay, so that's what happened to me. That's basically what I was going through on Saturday. All day Saturday, I did not feel good. It was, like, really bad all in this area. Like, all... That's where it feels like, kind of like around my eye. And then, I don't know what could cause, like it could be stress, but then also it could be like, you know, cause I 
do a lot of editing spend a lot of time at staring at the computer screen so maybe it could be like the bright screen maybe I should turn my screen down but I need it bright sometimes I don't know or maybe it could be these contacts I need some new ones too but basically like when you have a migraine too then it's better not to like look at bright lights too much while you have that migraine because you know like it, it hurts my eyes like if I, I can't, can't even be on my computer either because it hurts my eyes just to look at the screen even when you're in the process of getting over the migraine even when it's getting better but like my I can still feel it a little bit in my eyes so when I'm looking at the screen so that's why I haven't really been on the computer like I kind of want to respond to some of my comments but like looking at the computer trying to read comments especially trying to read stuff trying to read like I can't really do like that hurts my eyes right now it sucks because I want to get back there are videos I need to work on getting edited right now I wanted to try to keep the momentum going like I uploaded 15 videos for the month of August okay so I need to keep that momentum going I want to try to upload videos at least almost every day so it's time to get another video uploaded ASAP but I just can't really bust around the computer too much right now because my migraine it hurts my eyes to look at the screen and even on my phone too like like I had I've tried not to like look at Instagram and stuff too much because you know just like still it's still like a, a bright screen I mean I don't have the brightness that high but it's still a screen that like you're trying to look at like I don't know I can't really look at stuff too much until so, like it's 100% gone because yeah but anyway so tell me what you do to get rid of your headaches if you have a headache if you deal with migraines like what do you use like what um works for you um I try to look up like home remedies too but I feel like nothing really works for me like you know or like something like just drinking water <sighs> yeah I try that <laughs> that doesn't work that does not work for me um I don't know like a heating pad or hot like I don't know sometimes a really hot shower might help it a little bit but not all the time not usually I just need something that's like 100% guaranteed to work every time so that I don't have to deal with suffering from a headache the whole day as soon as I feel it coming boom I can get rid of it I'd say the Excedrin used to work for that but it hasn't been lately it's like sometimes it works and then sometimes it doesn't but right now it seems like it's actually working because that's what I've been taking all weekend it's the Excedrin and it was not doing shit but I didn't have no coffee either all weekend so I don't know if maybe if I had drank and sipped on some coffee too along with it if it would have helped but that's what I'm doing now. I just bought some more and I'm sipping on some iced coffee. And it actually feels like it's going away. So I'm starting to feel a little bit happy now. There are some other things that do help with headaches too, if you know what I mean. Something that's natural and grows out the earth <laughs> you know sometimes you know, that, that can help so just saying just saying <laughs> but you know yeah <laughs> I don't have access to that 24 7 the food is done I got ribs corn and you could have get out in a potato salad and I put hot sauce on my potato salad yeah so I'm drinking the rest of my iced coffee and I put I just decided to add a little bit of this in it it's not even really that sweet to begin with this, this was a caramel flavor but it's not like sweet sweet I guess you gotta ask for extra pumps of syrup if you really want it sweet but I mean, sometimes I don't really, like, sometimes I want to taste the, like, really taste the flavor of whatever I'm having with the caramel or vanilla or whatever. 
And then sometimes I don't really want it that sweet, but I just want coffee. I mean, it's gotta have some flavor in it though. I can't drink it. I cannot drink it plain, okay? But yeah, my head feels great. Um, I'm just heating up a leftover piece of pizza that I had from a couple days ago. <laughs> and yeah, and I'm gonna get to work on some videos. I got, yeah, <laughs> it's time to get a video uploaded. I think I'm gonna play The Sims so I can get some Sims videos uploaded. There's the dogs standing here. I left the fridge open because I'm trying to get something. <laughs> but hey, hey Da Vinci. <laughs> Dakota, he's like, wait a minute. What about me? Oh, he's going outside. Look at, look at all their toys. This is like the dog's little like area. And that's Da Vinci's bed. They're, these are all their toys, but some of these are Da Vinci's toys, but Coda, he steals all Da Vinci's toys. This is a Da Vinci's toy. That's Da Vinci's toy. I think this ball was Da Vinci's. Oh, and that's Da Vinci's. Yeah, well, I guess all Da Vinci's toys are back in here, because... And then, that's Coda's. But Coda, he just takes all of them. Da Vinci hardly plays with them. But Coda, he just plays with all of them. He just takes them all. He just snatches them from Da Vinci. Like, Coda is just so funny. He's so funny. And <laughs> she's just like, uh, yeah, he'll like, <laughs> he'll just stand back there and just like, you know, he ain't gonna do nothing. He ain't trying to fight. He don't wanna fight. He, he don't wanna fight. See, Coda, Coda, Coda be acting like he's a gangster. Coda, Coda's like a hood doggy. Coda just like, you know, anything that's his, he's like, what's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine, fool. Like, if I say you can't have it, you can't have it. It's mine. If I'm going to play with your toys, I'm playing with your toys. If I'm keeping it, you can't play with them. You can't play with your toys anymore. Da Vinci, you got to fight for your toys. You got to be more aggressive. Take your toys back. <laughs> Take your toys back, Da Vinci. Just take them back. Take them back. They're yours. Let them know what's up. Let them know. I know you got some gangster in you. You from New York. See, Coda is a Floridian dog. But Da Vinci, isn't Da Vinci from New York? I mean, he was raised in New York. Right, Da Vinci? So I'm probably going to play some Sims 2 to get my Sims 2 series uploaded. And then I'm probably going to do a... Yeah, I got another vlog to upload. And I got like another video I'm gonna upload. It's an old video that I filmed like two years ago of dyeing my hair. I never uploaded it, and I don't know. I got I need to get the footage off my computer. I need another external hard drive though to save stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I just I need to. Uh, but yeah, I need to do something with the footage, so I'll probably just, I was thinking I'll just edit the video and upload it, even though it's old, but, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I filmed it, so, and I had intended to upload it. The only reason I didn't was because I thought I was going to, like, add some more footage to it, and I just never did, and I don't know, but whatever. Whatever, yo. And I gotta get some braiding hair so I can braid my hair. I want to do my hair in braids again soon, ASAP. But anyway, but yeah, so that's what's up. Um, so yeah. Bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Bah. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Bah. My bitch is bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Dope. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Hey. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Bah. Bah. We the ruler, Dominic Cooler. Cooler. This a rolling.